Welcome to 2K Sports, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kenny the Jet Smith. Tonight's broadcast will feature the Milwaukee Bucks as they go up against the Miami Heat at American Airlines Arena. Looking at Miami, playing above 500 in the last few weeks, not bad. They'd like to do better. We'll see if they can add a win tonight. And the matchups in the backcourt will certainly be interesting to watch in this one. Kenny, who are some of the top guards you played against over the years? Wow, come on. The Bulls, always a force, you know, with Jordan Pippen. Well, Pippen was really like a small forward, but he played guard a lot. You know, Magic is probably top of it. John Stockton, you know, unbelievable. <clears throat> you know, Gary Payton. I said, <clears throat> I said, Clyde Drexler, but he played with <clears throat> us, so I, I was love Clyde when he and, came to us. And what about Penny Hardaway? He was tough. He well, was tough. Well, why you didn't say his name? You well, put his I, name eighth. I, no, I was in the. <clears throat> you was. I was still in getting him out. Disrespecting my main man, Penny. There was no no Mark disrespect. Jackson. Yeah. Mark Jackson. Love you, Penny. Love little Penny too. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Little Penny was hard to guard. Great stuff, Shaq. Uh, game just about ready to get underway. We'll see you later. Greetings, everyone. You've got it live on Tuesday night coverage of the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. For the Miami Heat, they won their last contest, that game against the Thunder in Oklahoma City. And just one look at the score tells you all you need to know. They were dominant in just about every area. Was not even close. I mean, they had points coming from all over the place. Yeah, they stayed true to the game plan offensively and never strayed at all. Impressive performance. Now, the starting group for the Milwaukee Bucks. Chris Middleton is out there with Antetokounmpo. Then there's Teague. Then it's Brooke Lopez. And it's Holiday in at the two-guard spot. And a great stretch of games here for Wade at the end of last season. A, a great stretch of games for Wade at the end of last season. I mean, he turned back the clock, if you will, for a while and really helped carry this Heat team. Butler with the ball, and Holiday picks him up defensively. Shots good by Butler. And he's starting to get what he wants here early and often. Nice move. And so it's Milwaukee now. And this is their first time matched up with this year's Heat team. And they rolled over this team last season, beating them every time they faced off. Not a lot of competition, really. I mean, they're playoff caliber and took care of business against a team that wasn't playoff caliber and maybe still isn't. Four on the clock. Middleton can't get it to go. And he made sure not to just draw the foul. That was good defense out on the perimeter. Very good. He's a thinking man's defender. Knows how to bother even the best shooters without being overly aggressive. The basket drops and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. So it'll be Jimmy Butler shooting. That one is on Holiday. Really impressed with the way Jimmy Butler last season made big strides in his game going from a supporting role player to someone you can build your team around. One shot. Mind the lane. Mind the lane. One shot. And Jimmy Butler had the career highs across the board last season. Won the Most Improved Player of the Year award. Really picking up his production in his fourth season. You know, we had seen the flashes of potential in, in Butler before. Last season, he sustained great play and, and really took everything to the next level. Now here's Middleton. Looking at the numbers, he's averaging about 20 and a half points a game. In transition, here comes Miami. Here's Butler, and there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. It goes on Giannis Antetokounmpo. You know, Jimmy Butler is one of those guys who had to overcome major odds just to get to the NBA. Reportedly, his father abandoned the family when Jimmy was an infant. Mom kicked Jimmy out when he was 13. The obstacles and adversity go on and on, yet he's made it and made it big.
free throw. Good Butler. And going back to Jimmy Butler, there were just so many times when he was set up to fail. He was not heavily recruited out of high school. He was even homeless when he was in high school in the Houston area. Uh, you know, went to a junior college, then Marquette, now in the NBA. So he played his freshman year at a junior college, which I think humbled him just a bit, but maybe gave him that work ethic that is so much Greg a part of his game now. And Kevin, the talent was there. And most of all, as we see how he dealt with adversity, the heart was there. He blocked out the distractions. He finally transferred to a major college and worked his way into becoming a first-round pick. Boy, even though he missed, you can't give up that kind of a look very often. The better to be lucky than good sometimes. Fortunately, they didn't get burned on that one. Middleton against Lowry. And Middleton kicks to Onda Takumbo. Got a piece of it. Stolen by Bosch. To the inside. That's good from Wade on the assist by Butler. Wade's got his first points of the night. Another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively so far. Yeah, and I think we're going to see them operating a lot of their offense from the interior today. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. Defeated by the Hornets in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. Yeah, they were in a funk from the field in that game. Credit the defense, though, because even when they got open looks, no rhythm to knock them down. Hey, guys. Hey, every team has a night like that on occasion. It happens. Hey, we call them gong games. You just want to hit the gong, forget about them, and move on. Now here's Middleton. A terrific shot on the turnaround. And now that the seal is broken, maybe their shooting will start to improve. Yeah, I don't think they really wanted to have as cold a start as they did, uh, but maybe that'll break the ice and they'll move forward in fine fashion from here. Here is Lowry following the basket by Chris Middleton. And the first shot of the night for him missing. Onda Takumbo kicks to Holiday. Middleton on the wing. All sorts of time. Another miss by Middleton. And they're one of five to start this game. Just really haven't gotten into a flow offensively. Butler with the ball. Now guarded by Middleton. Butler goes in. And the rejection by Andre Kumbo. And Dwayne Wade with the three. Wade's got five. And it's like raining buckets right now. I wonder if this is the early stages of a blowout. Well, we've got to be careful. Don't want to get ahead of ourselves just yet. Uh, but it has been pretty ugly so far, no doubt about that. Now, here's Andre de Kumbo. He had 15 points last out. You can't give him that shot. A few open looks are all it takes to get him in the zone. Earlier, Doris Burke spoke with head coach Eric Spolster. And what'd you find out, Doris? Going into this game and scouting the opposition, he told me he's a huge fan of Drew Holiday, saying, you know, Drew's still a guy with so much potential. You just don't see that many point guards with his kind of frame. Six foot four, close to two bills, and a great skill set to match. He's a guy you love to watch, but you often hate to go up against. Kevin, we'll see if he can have a big impact in this one. And thank you, Doris. And that one misses. O.J. Mayo, who's checked in for Milwaukee. And he's good on the second. Bucks trail by nine. Middleton up top, defended by Butler. Butler against Middleton. On to Takumbo, passes to Mayo. That three off the mark. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Here's Bosch, and it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. Bosch has got his first basket. 
And now we can see them really working it inside. Yeah, Clark, quality looks at the rim. That's fueling this run. Now here's Teague. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Now here's Mayo. Down to five on the shot clock. Mayo missing again. Nobody even close to him, and he can't believe he doesn't knock it down. A shot by Lowry, no good. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Shots good by Middleton. That's a quick bucket there. Solid in transition. Well, you know, he loves the chance to get out and run, and we can see right there why he does. Now here's Wade. 14 points from him the last game against the Thunder in Oklahoma City. Lopez, a screen on low. Mayo drives in. The dish to Lopez. Bucks passing it around. A shot by Middleton. Wide open. And a great assist by Anadokounmpo as that one goes in. Man, he's having quite the quarter converting at a really high percentage. The closer passes to Wade. And here's Bosch. He's coming off a 10-point game against Oklahoma City. The closer. Nice teamwork to set up the pick play and make the space for the J. And that was Lowry with that fire hydrant build setting the nice screen. T kicks to Mayo. Over to the wing. Out to the right wing. A baseline J. Can't get it to go. Now the Heat take it the other way. And already they take out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. And the trend they'd love to continue right through the next three quarters as well, Greg. Here's Mayo after the made shot from Dwayne Wade. Outside on the Kumbo. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor just reliable guys he's just always trying to make the right play and, and, and still I, I don't know that anyone can define what Giannis's position is it, it's kind of still up in the air I mean he's played mostly on the wing a season ago and, and, and thus far maybe that could end up being the best fit and Miami calls their first time out of the game Prior to last season Giannis was experimenting with a point guard position for stretches during the summer league. Well, you know, Kevin, he's just the type of guy whose size and length really allow him to guard every position. True. Catching up on the changes with Miami. Whiteside's checked in for the closer. Stoudemire comes in for Chris Bosh. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Dwayne Wade. And it's Jennings in for Kyle Lowry. Now, here's Butler. A 29-point game for him in the win against Oklahoma City. And defensively, guys, he was just all over the place, forcing turnovers and applying terrific ball pressure. And, and they keep going down low with the ball and keep getting positive results. Extremely positive. I mean, this is a very nice lead to have early in the ball game. Here's Mayo. 11 points last game. Middleton outside. Let's it go from deep. Some solid defense from Butler. Miami leading by 11. Jennings dishes to Tucker. Now here's Whiteside. Defense right on him. Butler kicks to Whiteside. The eight-footer misses off the left iron. You know, a team's rebounding is one of the great measures of its energy, and theirs has been terrific in the first quarter. Yeah, they brought it in terms of having another level of intensity right from the tip. The shot by out of the Kumbo. Nobody around. Can't make good off the pick. The Heat have gone 8 of 15 from the field, shooting above 50% here tonight. Here's Whiteside, and he takes that one up and powers it through. Already seizing control of this game. Total control, Greg, and as well as they're playing at both ends, I look for this lead to get even larger. Now here's Teague. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Portis, the pass to Andre Dacumbo. 
The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the Heat. It looks like they're ready to run, fellas. I mean, they haven't hesitated at all to get out on the break so far. Yeah, and one thing, Clark, I've one noticed shot. is how quick the their hands have been Mind tonight. The Thanks to that, they've gotten a lot of points off of turnovers. Here's what Milwaukee's going with right now. Vaughn's checked in for Chris Middleton, and Jared Bayless subbed in for T. And, you know, you hear everybody talking about Giannis's potential. I mean, look at the athleticism coupled with his measurables. I mean, that is just off the chart. Butler attacking. It's tipped. They get it back. That's good. Whiteside's got his second bucket of the night. You know, of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is major smash mouth basketball, guys. It's all about imposing your will offensively, getting exactly the kind of looks their coach drew up. Here's Portis. Hassan Whiteside made his last basket. Milwaukee, no good that time either. And no excuse there for missing that one after being freed up by a great pick. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, they came away empty, but they got the look they wanted, and really, I, I've enjoyed, I like the movement and communication there. Now, Tucker. O.J. Mayo missing on the three. Jennings with the ball. Now guarded by Adetokounmpo. And up the court come the Bucks On the break, Mayo's running. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. It's on Jimmy Butler. And guys, when you look at O.J. Mayo's statistics over the past few years, nothing really stands out. But then you watch him in games, especially in clutch moments, and he can seem like the most dangerous guy right, on take the a floor. Take a, a scary, deep-range shooter who loves to take defenders one-on-one. -on -one. First free throw is good. On the topic of O.J. Mayo, has value in this NBA. Yeah, he really does. I mean, he's multi-skilled, good size, sees himself as a superstar, and yet that sometimes derails him being as effective as he could be because he just can't quite get comfortable mm. in that role of being a backup. That one misses. It's almost as if there's a lid on the hoop for him right now. He still hasn't gotten one to fall in the court. And it's off from three-point range. Bucks trail by 11. One. And it's Anadokounmpo penetrated. Now that's finishing your work right there. Powerful two-hand jam. You're right. And I tell you what, if he's got a few more of those in him, this lead will start shrinking even further. And the Heat call time here. You know, obviously, he, you know, there's some things out there he does not like and wants to talk it over. Well, Greg, you play and you uh, envision yourself as a coach as well. So, you know, sometimes uh, you need to make some adjustments. One thirty-six left to play here in the first. Jennings drives in. In by Whiteside. Maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that. And we know he's capable of those memorable dunks. Yeah, and, and when he's got a lead like that, why not take a few chances? A lot more engaging and entertaining than just doing the old ho-hum one-handed. Here's Mayo following the score by Miami. Portis. And they're going to count the bucket and send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. How about battling through the impact there and then willing that basketball in? Boy, it does your heart good to see that kind of determination in a player. Really excellent focus that time. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. One shot. One shot, gentlemen. Heat leading by eight. 
Stoudemire, the screen, the shot by Butler, nobody around. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Boy, such outstanding patience and decision-making for them offensively. Absolutely. Their ball movement has been outstanding, and they're piling up the assists. Here is Bayless. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Six to shoot. Pass to Ports. Pulls up on the wing. Shot is off. And it's Miami the other way. Outside Butler. To the right side. Here's Tucker. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And Milwaukee gets called for the foul. The Heat have only one missed free throw. They've had five attempts and made four of them. And as a team, really just middle of the pack in terms of their percentage from the line at about 76. And they've made progress in that department from last season going into this one, guys. I mean, the numbers have improved. The first one falls. Brooke Lopez has checked in for Antetokounmpo. That one misses, so he goes one for two. Bucks trail by 11. Mayo with it, and Jennings picks him up defensively. We've got 13 seconds left in the first quarter. And Brooke Lopez, the bucket on the assist by Mayo. Lopez has got his first bucket in this one. They've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball into the paint. Clearly, they've been the aggressors thus far when it comes to attacking the interior in this first half. And that concludes the first quarter of play. It's the Heat. They lead by nine. Back after this from the American Airlines Arena. Now a chance to hear from Chris Bosh about what it meant to him to become an NBA player, the fulfillment of a lifelong dream. What a great cut from Chris Bosh. That's, that's the kind of guy you can't help break the love for his attitude and ability to be, you know, in touch with that kid he once was. Chris Bosh is living the dream like you did and loving it. It's a great point, Kevin. And I think most of the guys in the league feel that same way. I mean, they may not be able to say it or articulate it as smoothly as Chris does, sure. but, but inside every NBA player is a kid who's still thrilled to wear the uniform and play the game they love. And welcome back. It's been all one-sided so far through the first quarter as our second quarter gets underway. And when you consider how the Heat are doing, guys, what jumps out to you, stats one They seem to be a, a step slower, and, and that's one reason why they've been able to own the rebounding edge. Well, the anticipation's been better. As the ball hits the rim, it's gone right to them. Solid job of them chasing it down and anticipating. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, as the second quarter gets going. On the court for the Heat, they've got the closer. E.J. Tucker is out there with Chris Bosh. Then there's Lowry, and it's Wade in at the two spot. Kyle Lowry with a beautiful setup. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. Middleton outside. Back to Holiday. Middleton outside. A three ball. Another miss by Middleton. With the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in control of this game. And, and no doubt about it, rebounds, they've been more determined than their opponent thus far. Got that bucket in in no time at all. Middleton's got eight points. Yeah, great execution there. The turnaround, such a difficult shot to defend. And it's Lowry penetrating. 
And count it. Two points with a chance for one more at the free throw line. That's outstanding hang time Big. improvisation Big right there. And for Kyle Lowry, a guy who just has an unbelievable nose for the basketball, the triple-double comes naturally to him now. Top 10 in the league the past two seasons. In his shot. short time with the One Raptors, shot, he's already their career leader in that category. Getting back to Kyle Lowry, the reason he's always a triple-double threat, Clark, because of his great work on the glass for a guard. Tough, strong, relentless, and committed to getting rebounds. He's got the attitude of a power forward, even though he is a point guard. Good That's point. why he's yeah. one of the best rebounding guards in the league. It's his mentality. Middleton on the wing. He's covered by Bosch. Another miss by Middleton. It has not been an easy quarter for him at least offensively speaking. Tucker, the pass to the closer. The 19-footer is on the money. The closer's got five. And, and just there, Clark. Watching P.J. Tucker, he does all the little things for you, plus some big ones as well ever since it came into the league. Clark, he's been a tremendous glue guy. Yeah, he's a Velcro guy. You don't want him handling the ball a bunch or launching a lot of threes, but he's physically imposing, and he gives you what he's got. You know the effort is always going to be there with him. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. And talking about P.J. Tucker, he, he's really played the same role the past three seasons. Excellent inside-out defender, tremendous rebounder for his size, and he really plays within his limitations, taking only shots he can make and also not turning the ball over. Giannis Antetokounmpo has checked in for Milwaukee. Holiday against Lowry. Holiday dishes to T. Lopez inside. Puts up the baby hook. Score of the basket is third after five shots. You know, it's funny. We talk about glue guys like Tucker being instrumental to winning the championship, but it's really about trying to find the best guys at what they do. And the case can be made that Tucker is one of the best in the NBA at what he does. Here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. Here's Wade. And that one's good. Wade's got the lead up to 13 now for the Heat. I think they can't just keep allowing these easy baskets. That's got to be job number one right now. Nothing easy on the inside. Lopez inside. Nails the baby hook. Lopez has got seven now in this quarter. And, you know, he's enjoyed the kind of day you expect in terms of shooting the basketball. He can bring them right back into this game. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. And the lead just grows on that ridiculous offensive sequence. You know, Clark, that dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Yeah, that just added more to and, it. And, you know, guys, right now they're starting to flatline, just hanging on here for dear life. Here's Bosch. And no good, trying to use the glass. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. T kicks to Onda Takumbo. And the lead is down inside single digits. Onda Takumbo's got 14 points for the game. Well, he leading by eight. Lowry passes to Tucker. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Onda Takumbo. And down it goes, jamming that one home. Terrific job on both ends of that sequence. Very slick steal and then excellent transition offense. And really it all stems from the aggressive defense. That's exactly what the doctor ordered. Now here's Tucker, defended by Middleton. Lock at six. And gets the front of the rim and out. Bucks trail by six. And Holiday kicks to Middleton. Jacks up a three. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. And that's now 11 points for Chris Middleton. Well, this here is a game. Good run to close the gap. Yeah, they've done a great job to get back within striking distance. Really a solid comeback effort here. 
and so he draws the foul on the shot on a trip to the line to shoot two. He had a defender all over him. Greg, he got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. The Heat have scored six points from their eight attempts at the line so far. That free throw missing. He hits the second from the line. Just a fantastic game for the closer. He has eight points, and he was able to come up with one steal, too. You know what? He's been a difference maker defensively today, Clark. He's disrupted more plays than the stat sheet will show. And that one's good. Holiday's got himself going. That's far too good a look to give them from behind the arc. Three of their last five makes come from beyond the arc. The defense has to react quicker. Not a quarter to remember as far as his offense is concerned. Yeah, you know, he's not making any kind of impact for them at that end of the court right now. Lowry passes to the closer. Tucker dishes to Lowry. Outside Bosch. An easy two points on the layup. Bosch has got six points. I mean, if the defender is going to play off like that, then you know what's going to happen. There are going to be points put on the board. T kicks to Honda Takumbo. Count it, and he's now 8 of 9 from the floor. And he's caught fire this quarter yet to miss a shot. Yeah, it looks like he saw some things out there that, that need to be adjusted. And he's got to take a break here and talk it over. Hey, you know, coaches sometimes need a break in the action to rethink and retool a bit. Anytime you, you're in that situation, it makes sense to use the timeout. Butler, he's checked in for P.J. Tucker. So it's Miami now. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. To the middle, taken away by Holiday. And it's Milwaukee's ball. They're on a 19-7 run. And the shot will shoot two. And guys, for Drew Holiday last season was a tale of two halves. Over the first half, he displayed the leadership and the playmaking skills the team had originally acquired him for. You know what, Kevin? Over the second half of the year, everything just kind of fell apart for Drew. He couldn't shake an injury to his lower right leg and as a result had to watch from the bench as his team fought for its playoff lives. Ties it up and this next one could give them the lead. And when you talk about Holiday, the Pelicans really needed his contribution last season. He can score and distribute the basketball equally as well. An excellent all-around defender. Exactly what you want in a point guard, except that he just couldn't stay healthy. Whiteside's checked in for Miami. Jennings comes in for Kyle Lowry. And the free throw is good, now leading by one. And for Holiday, I love his effort. He works extremely hard. His injury, no fault of his own, just a run of misfortune. Let's hope this talented young man can turn it around and keep it turned around from a health standpoint. Milwaukee's gone four or six from long range in the second quarter. Solid shooting. The wide open look here for Lopez. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. And that's now 11 points for Brooke Lopez. Butler attacking. Gets some rim on the way in. And the bucket's good. He's got some serious momentum going right now. He's been great all day. Even last game, he was on. And it's Miami with the rebound. They've got the Wizards ahead of them for the next game. It's in Washington. That sets off a five-game tour for them. Teague with the ball. He hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Onda Takumbo gets to Middleton. Shot clock at five. 
He just has not been able to get into that groove yet, guys. But as a whole, it hasn't affected them too much. They're getting on the roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from inside the paint area. There's got to be a wall of defense when it comes to attacking the paint. Clean and simple. Holiday against Wade. And Holiday kicks the tee. The Bucks need to get a shot off here. And the dunk by Lopez. And that's how it's done. I mean, find that hole in the D and then go hard to the right. Maybe that hole was a little bigger than it should have been. Well, it was. I mean, a tight game like this one, you'd think they'd have a little more energy at the defensive end than that. And it's sent back by Lopez. But they'll get another chance. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. And the Heat making a change here. Stoudemire's checked in. So it's the Bucks now. Now Mayo. And looking at his production, he averages a little more than seven points a game. And the foul on Dwayne Wade. That's his first foul. The Bucks making a switch here. Portis is checked in. From past the arc. And it's Wade with the rebound. Wade's got three rebounds now in this one. Outside Jennings. Fires the three. Up and in. It's good. First basket of the game for him. One for four shooting. Of all the guys you want to leave open out on the perimeter, he is the absolute last guy on the list. Attention to detail. Know your personnel. Portis, the pass to Bayless. Marked down low that time, and he got the three-second goal. Right here, over these last ten games on the Heat schedule, this is how they stack up in the league stats. First in opponent field goal percentage. First in opponent points per game. And they also show up in the top five and not giving up the ball. This is a low turnover team. They value possessions, and they really concentrate on taking care of the rock. And go back to their top-notch defense. They just smother you and impose their will on you. A lot of nights, it seems like teams don't even know what hit them. That's a clean look they gave him. This. And stolen by Jennings. And here we go. Fast break. Jennings has got it. And he lays it up and in. Oh, it's a six-point heat lead. Oh, I tell you what, nice little run here they're going on. And, and getting to the 10 has been the key. They're getting point-blank looks time and time again. A minute 42 left in the first half of basketball. And the Bucks miss again. The mechanics totally out of whack right now. He's lost his feel for the shot. Yeah, he really has. I mean, just totally out of sync. I mean, you can just see it in the numbers. Nothing going down for him right now. Here's Bayless. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. How can you stop that? With the crossover that quick, that lightning quick, the defender has to be almost superhuman to stay in front of that. Stoudemire, the screen. Butler dishes to Stoudemire. Lopez with the block. Here's Whiteside. Rebounded by the Bucks. Portis has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's Vaughn. Pass to Portis. And he jams it with authority. And that kind of defense ain't going to get it done. Gee, we don't see those kinds of dunks out of him all the time, but we know he's got it in him. There's no doubt about that, fellas. I mean, the more he gets, the more his confidence will grow. Not sure if they're aware of the two-for-one opportunity. Well, they ought to be. I mean, that basic basketball time management. You've got to be aware of your clock and your situation.
32 seconds left to play here in the half. Vaughn gets the bucket. Well, Clark, we've seen the lead change hands quite a bit in this one. Yeah, we sure have. I mean, it's been a bit of a windshield wiper game. I mean, back and forth, the lead has gone five times, so no one in clear control yet. And, guys, I think each team knows they can win this game just a matter who can catch that momentum. Five on the clock. Wade kicks to Stoudemire. Lopez with the block. And so the ball goes out of bounds. Lopez touches it last. Here's Butler. 13 points in the game. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. Beyond the arc. That misses. Would have kind of had it gone in. And a pretty tightly congested game here as we end the first half. Bucks lead by one. And now we'll send it down to Doris Burke, who's standing by courtside. Well, I'm here with Coach Eric Spolster. And Coach, at what end of the floor are you guys looking to make adjustments for in this second half? Well, on both ends. Uh, decision making offensively uh, with the turnovers, got him out in the open court, got him some easy ones. And we have to settle into our game defensively, try to disrupt him a little bit. It's been uh, way too easy for us. Eric, appreciate it. Kevin, back to you. Thanks so much, Doris, and we'll step away briefly, but get you right back in there for the start of the third quarter after this break. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everybody. Ernie Johnson here, joined by Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. We welcome you to the Halftime Show on 2K Sports. A tremendous game we're seeing from Giannis and Tedekumpo. He had 18 points, three block shots, and two steals. Kenny, your thoughts on the Bucks' first half? Well, they didn't let this hostile crowd bother them at all. In fact, they seem to feed off of that hostility. Plus, sometimes when you're away from home, those distractions, your family, your friends, your fans, you can concentrate better. Okay, wait, did I just say my family, friends, and fans are distractions? Okay, <laughs> uh, let's go to the next thing. Let's go. And Shaq, your thoughts on the heat? One thing I really like is their pace, nice and quick. A lot of their buckets came in. It's so important for a team to be able to dictate the pace of the game, and we saw them do exactly that. They should stick with that because it's working. Keep up that transition game. And that'll wrap up our halftime show. The third quarter set to go moments from now. We will be right back here after the game. <laughs> 